Hello guys, welcome to another video and today I'll be showing you something a bit different but new to the train sim scene. Now this scenario that I've just led into is the driver training course and this is the first time I am uh, sort of driving this vehicle. Um, I'll show you what it is in a second. Some of you may already know what it is um, but let's get on with it anyway. Anyway, good morning driver. Tonight we'll be moving DR73106. I'm siding at Sandy and driving on to Hitchin, Hitchin before undertaking a short exercise to show, to show that you understand how to use the tamping machine. Once this has been carried out, you will drive DR73106 to Hitchin, then maneuver into Hitchin sidings in readiness for the night shift engineering crew. Be sure to change any points as required along the way and remember to stop as soon as you reach Biggle, Biggles Wade up reverse. Okay. So, yes, what am I doing? The Tampa. This is going to be a Tampa review. Now, this is quite new to the train sim scene. There's a lot of people that have played the game has or have, have wanted one in the game for, I don't know, donkey's years, something like that. Um, but it's quite detailed. As you can see, it's, it's, it's sort of a one-off thing by, I think, a company called Gold Star Trains, I believe it is. Um, but yeah, that is quite decent. Used, obviously, for Indy City, I think it was on the East Coast Main Line or something like that. Um, from what I can gather, this actually works and moves. It doesn't tap the track, unfortunately. Um, but... I'm quite happy with just seeing all this move around and whatnot. Um, we've got different views as well. We've got um, we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, it's quite a long machine. I think it's like a 1980s model type thing. So let's press H, put the headlamps on. Let's press the horn as well. See what that's like. It's not not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. I, I can live with that easily. Uh, that's on. Right, so forward. Why can't I put it into forward? Oh god, what was that? I pressed E on something. What? Okay, that's different. You have to use E to go forward and backwards. So that's the brake. So we've got a start engine, engine key, hazard light switch. Oh, wait, you got three window wipers. Okay, what's that? Bottle. What looks like Jesus, okay. Cab light. Uh, what's that one? I've no idea what that's just done, so I'm going to turn that off. Oh, side lights. That's what I'm after. Uh, running out of fuel. What's that? Headlight switch, we've got the headlights on. What's that? Tamping control key. So this is so much. This is so different from what I'm used to driving. So A and D, obviously. Okay. Okay. I officially have no idea how to drive this thing. Oh god, I didn't want to do that. Okay. What's that? 
Oh, there we go. It's just that little switch there. I was going to find that. Right. See if we can go forward. Wrong way! This is harder than I thought it would be. That sound like a fart, that horn. <laughs> but I'll take it. Yes, we're off. Cut in front of a passenger train, oh well. <laughs> I have to admit, for a, a sort of a, a. I have to admit, I've not seen this company uh, make any trains. I've never heard of them up until I saw a video of this um, tamping unit. So I don't, I don't know what else they've got on offer. Um, I'll have to do some investigation. Start increasing some speed. I like that it's got a rev revometer as well, rev gauge. That's got different gears in it, so up oh, one more. Yes. Now we're cooking on all burners. Pretty much like driving the 177s. You get the diesel multiple unit, you've got different gears and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, no, I can get used to that, I can get used to that. Oh, what was that? Do that. <laughs> right. I have to make that. This will uh, make a nice addition to my my Barkham line. Use it as like a well, a, a tamper itself, really. That is, that is amazing. That is. Fast. Well, according to the speed, there it says it's doing 80, but it's only doing 52. Hmm. No matter. <laughs> What's that cab light? Whoa. Huh. <laughs> I 
That is, that is a bizarre haul now, I have to say that. Any of the windows open? No. Hmm. Speed. Oh, it's quite detailed in terms of uh, lighting and all that. down to the signage as well that's pretty that's top marks there for detail ten meters keep clear right driver let's read that right driver please prepare that <laughs> for tamping operations lower the tamping bogey start the tamping machine and run continuously until you reach signal K seven six six once there stop the temping machine bring that to a halt and raise the temping bogey remember to use your warning siren exterior lights and hazard lights as appropriate you may then proceed to hitching where that will be stabled overnight uh, I just got the thing moving. I've got to try and figure out how to sort the bogey out and all that. Right. L. Oh. That's good. Press L. Oh, I'm impressed with that. I'm very impressed with that. Was it C, did it say? I'll make sure, make sure this is all... Neutral one. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, forty seven. I don't think I've done something right here. What's press C? I press C. There we go. Oh, look at that. That is brilliant. That is. Oh, there's. Oh, there's. No way. 
got a camera and everything. Do you know what? This is the best purchase I've ever had, really. This is up there. This is up there indeed. Wee, it's got the old snap-on toolbox in here, boys. Oh, this is the number two cab. Right. Do you know what? Now that that's top marks for that. That's top marks for that because in I, I haven't done a video on it yet, but um, the Metropolitan line from just trains um, does have a feature where if you stop correctly, it it will have CCTV sharp um, of the trains, but it's only a still picture. As for this, this has got to be the first train in train sim to actually have a moving CCTV image. I mean, that is that is amazing. That is amazing, absolutely amazing. Oh, hang on, I've got to put the siren on. Got to do things proper on British Rail. Might get some snapshots. That is amazing. That is amazing. Obviously, I won't let you sit here for all this time. I will cut it and I will rejoin you when I get back to the other end, which is down by that green signal down there. guys well oh there we go right well I'm ashamed to say this but I've literally just spent about 10-15 minutes going from down there to there but now I've reached the end and now uh, it's time to carry on to uh, where, where is it again Olesley Olesley do apologise for the pronunciation very terrible at that so do that there we go turn that off so it breaks off so away we go Oh wow, that rain came in pretty quick, was not expecting that, okay, or the thunder actually, uh, oh, let's put the uh, wipers on.
I have to admit, I've never actually played in a scenario where there's been thunder and rain. It's very rare that I do that. Uh, that's a very strange horn, that really is. But, I mean, to be fair, the amount of detail on this loco, yeah, it doesn't matter about the horn, to be honest. It's um, a small price to pay for such a large amount of detail, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, we're close to hitching right now. About a mile and a half, I reckon. I'll have to read more on the manual about it. Uh, but yeah, a great first scenario, really. Do that. I've actually had uh, experience of being near a tamper when working. Uh, at the Bluebell Railway. I've, I've helped out in the P-Way department a few times and um, one day I was lucky enough to go with the uh, the crew of the Bluebells Tampa at the time and uh, go with them and help do some bits and pieces near uh, um, Horsley Canes and I have to admit comparing that to this, obviously it's a Tampa, I know that, but Comparing that to a game, it's um, really good on detail. I mean, they've, they've got the sounds down to a, a, a very fine T uh, and all that. I, I, th I think the one I was on was like a 1980. I think it was a bit like this, to be honest. Um, but I don't, obviously not the Intercity one. But no, it was rather an interesting day, that. Let's change ends. What? So, cab light. Okay, uh, that one. Nope, don't turn that back on. So, can't blow it.
There we go. Right. Just hope that's the right direction for that. Yes. Player has left path. What? What on earth are you talking about? Is that Becky in it? Get, get, get back on path before it kicks me out of the game. Uh. Never actually seen that message before, so yeah. Wait, I was going to say, wait, wait. Beep, beep. It's a very depressing sounding horn, to be honest. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Right then. You get the ring of it. Time for a nice brew. Well, <laughs> I just, just sort of improper hauling uses 34 times. I'm proud of that. Right, well, um, what to say about that? It's worth the £14.99. I mean, at the end of the day, it's up to you whether you want to buy it. But for me, I reckon it's a good asset for anyone who wants to add that bit of realism to the game. Um, detail wise it's it's really good to be honest really good I mean the, the signs like the, uh, the signage if it was on any other add-on you get it's not exactly the clearest on any other add-on but for that that was crisp that was very clear um, 
so yeah the signage is pretty good details good the uh the tamping bogey i mean just wow uh yeah i don't know what to say about that it yeah i've never never experienced an add-on like that really uh to be honest something that was detailed like well i can't really say that because the, the bossman games locos yeah, I really de I really decent. I do like the, the amount of detail and time and all that they put into that. But for this add-on in particular, as just a one, well, I, I assume it's a one-off. Um, it's it's definitely worth it. It's worth the fourteen pounds. It is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. Um, if you want to see more. Uh, subscribe I am doing mainly reviews and stuff on train sim and any other PC games or PS4 games if you like the video hit the like button and I will see you in another video thank you for watching goodbye